Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use Smart Hair Physics in Character Creator and Blender, and also how you can set up a spring rig in Blender. Let's first take a look at the basic weight map settings. This character Smart Hair in Character Creator has embedded weight map info, which provides the slight sway you see here. You can find the weight map in the Physics tab of the Modify panel, which we're going to modify in Blender shortly. First, let's export our character to Blender using the Export Character to Blender option under Blender Pipeline. We'll choose Models with Motion to export the character along with the animation. You'll see that all of the textures along with the weight map for the hair will be exported with the FBX. Let's import the FBX into Blender next using the Auto Setup add-on being sure to enable physics before selecting Import Character. Upon preview, you can see that the physics simulation is fairly weak. So in the Cloth Physics section of the CCIC Create tab, click on Paint Weight Map. We can now use the Fill tool with Gradient selected to paint a quick monochromatic gradient and test it out in object mode. We can then save the weight map in the same cloth setting section to update it. We can load in the new weight map and see that the movement of the hair section is much more pronounced due to the stronger white values on the weight map. If you find that your hair is breaking through the clothing or body mesh in some areas, you can go to Collision Shape under Attributes and adjust the position and size of the relevant capsule. In this case, the one covering the upper torso. You can see now that the collision issue is resolved. Alternatively, you can use Blender to achieve the same result. To do this, first select the relevant mesh, then simply click Add Cloth Collision. This will enable physics between the hair and clothing. In order to import this hair simulation to iClone, we need to export to a Lembic format. Be sure to check selection only with the hair selected. In order to import the hair simulation from Blender to iClone, first hide the existing hair section and then import in your Lembic file, setting the scale to 100. Since Alembic files do not contain material data, you'll need to manually save the material from the original hair and import it to the imported Alembic mesh. Now you can preview the results via playback in iClone. Here's a comparison between the original and edited weight maps. Next, let's look at how to transfer spring bones to Blender from Character Creator. Certain hairstyles like pigtails or ponytails can be animated via spring bones, which can be viewed in the Bone Manager window. In Edit Spring, you can assign each bone a transform or rotate spring type. Rotate is more suitable for this hairstyle, and we can also assign the hardness level, which determines the amplitude of the rotation. Here's a quick look at the results. To export the animated spring bone data to Blender, simply select the character and export it as an FBX, once again ensuring models with motion is selected. In this case, since there are no physics simulations involved, you'll see the bones animated according to the spring animation from Character Creator. 
And that's how you can use Blender in combination with iClone and Character Creator to generate dynamic and accurate hair simulations for both softcloth and spring rig hair elements. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.